I took my helmet off, glasses on my, my bag. They just fell. One of the lens flew off. Maybe Danny ran over it. It's got form from the melted snow. Amazing. Just enjoy the moment. Place to pitch up the drone. John P That's where the landslide was right there. Where? And we're gonna head to the pass itself, northern gate of Yellowstone, keeping down, uh, keep going down south. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. That's the part where there's the landslide, right there. What they got here. Okay, elevation 9190. Yeah, you can see the, the hairpins and the switchbacks coming all the way from the bottom up. Rolling out. Didn't mention it before by my cruise control. It's still messed up, it's not working, so. Unless I find a dealership that will be able to fix it, I think I'm gonna do coast to coast to coast with no cruise control. Suck it up, Sandy. over there and some frozen elements ice or snow or frozen snow still and we're we're just August a uh, August 1st going higher and higher it keeps getting colder and colder and prettier and prettier the views are unbelievable over here look at this The 
As you go down the pass, there are these lakes that form from the melted snow. The water is blue, clear, and freezing cold. Reaching for the ground. We lose track of time. we What a picture, what a picture. Well, how about that? Cycle Fanatics getting behind a camera for somebody else. Look at that. I'm behind this fucking bear. Come on, brown bear. bear or black bear? This fucking bear. bear. <laughs> I noticed the foot clutch. Hey, how much did your bike take? Uh, uh, my tank was coming loose, so I was oh, I uh, just looked at my bolts and was like, oh yeah, that's a crack. So, so <laughs> tell us about the motor. It's, uh, it's just a shovel head, three belts, 93 cubic inches. Wow, what year is it? Uh, it's aftermarket cases, so it's actually not a year, but I call it 72. It's, it, it starts pretty easy on a good day. And pretty oh, you got some performance machine uh, calibers? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a little bit of kind of like vintage performance. A rabbit, a yeah. rabbit seat. Yeah. And an improvised backrest. That's pretty cool. That's Northeast entrance to Yellowstone Park. Counting? Oh. <laughs> so many, huh? I'm going closer, dude. Stopped on the side. There's free roaming buffalo over here. Made it through the northeast gate into Yellowstone National Park, heading uh, southbound. And there's uh, free roaming cows and buffalo right here behind me. Take a look. 
There's a stream, a river going right by. It's so pic picturistic. It never rains in California. The sun is always shining bright. People are smiling, making plans, hiding behind their shades, and you're doing the same. No rain, no flowers, nothing's growing where your heart is fire. But baby, it's a big drop down there. Woo. Oh wow! You can see the canyon. Oh wow! Yeah, that is that's super okay. interesting. It's like a, almost like a shelf of like. Look at the rock on my right. I bet you're cold without me, even when it's 90 degrees. Without me, I bet that you can get in sleep in the bed, lying away. Cause I'm not there beside you. About another 40 miles to the south. South exit. We keep chugging. So just as we stopped for a second, I took my helmet off, my glasses off, put my glasses on my uh, on my bag, and then when we left, I put the helmet on, forgot the glasses on my bag, started riding at about 30, 45 miles per hour. I remember. Now I forgot my glasses, I look back, I see them, they just fell. So soon we'll get a real review how tough the glasses are. I did pick them up in two pieces. One of the lens flew off, but we'll see if the glasses are intact and if the lens is scratched or not. Now, we stopped just to take a great look at this huge lake. I'm not sure the name, I, am, I imagine it's Yellowstone Lake. Makes sense, right? Look how big and endless this is. It's like, almost like a little ocean. But there's one more thing we want to figure out, right? Did, did the glasses survive? So, oh, here we go. Tootsie Roll. Yeah. Thank you. I'll get it. Look, this is where it fell, and I think a car ran over it. Maybe actually it was, uh, maybe Danny ran over it. Let's see. There's a small scratch over here. Not a big deal. But the lens itself, I want to make sure that it's intact, because th if this is messed up, the whole glasses need to be, like, the, the lens needs to be replaced, so... Let me try to snap it in place. Ha <laughs> ha! It snapped into place. And bam! No scratch on the lens. I'm lucky. Well, real world review unintentional drop test at 40 miles, 35 miles per hour off my bike. And it survived. Let me clean the lens. Icicles 
Pretty good. I'd say pretty cool. Unintentional test. Crash test. On the icicles. It's the lake. Anyway, lesson learned. The glasses are always going to stay on me. I put it, I took the glasses, I took the helmet off and I put the glasses over here. Stupid mistake. I'm going to keep the glasses over here. So once I take uh, the helmet, I, I see the glasses immediately. Never make that mistake again. Yellowstone. Now we're heading towards Tetons, Grand Teton Park. We're stuck at slow, slow traffic on the, in the end on the entrance to Jackson. Danny just asked me what's going on with my cruise control. Yeah, it's still not working. I've been riding close to 700 miles. Total without cruise control. Jackson, population 10,760, elevation 6,209. Jackson is a cool, sweet little town, kind of. Look at that. Look at that cowboy bar right there. And we're just going to eat first, then. Uh, Search the internet, find a place to stay. Just it was to, 12 hours on the road. Last time I ate was breakfast. Wagyu burger that we're gonna have. I'm hungry. I started eating without showing you my asparagus and my Wagyu, Wagyu burger. It is so delicious. It is so good. The cheese, bacon, asparagus. It's very noisy over here. You know, being 12 hours, riding, going up to 10, 10,000 feet in elevation, spending most of the day at 7,000. There's, there's less oxygen. The body works harder. You know, you, you get tired faster. This place, this town is really, really nice. It's really nice. I didn't, I didn't know. John said that Jackson, Wyoming is one of the biggest and nicest resorts in, in America, ski resorts in America. And prices here are okay. Done eating. It was really good. Actually, found a hotel 40 minutes from here because rooms here are extremely expensive. 40 minutes from now, and then we'll check in. Made it to Alpine, Wyoming, that we find Flying Saddle, I can see from here. Flying Saddle Resort and Steakhouse, really exhausted. We did close to 300 miles, slow uh, 300 miles, at high altitude, high elevation, little oxygen, slow dry riding on and off the bike, and somewhat even a little bit intense, well, like doing the, the turns, the high, you know, you look down, whatever, very tired. This is the room, these are the rooms on the river look how cool john you got to see the rivers right here beautiful now i'm gonna go get my bag because <laughs> it's in the lobby and it's quite a distance away good morning morning coffee from the coffee maker in the room it's okay but it will do for the morning you know i'm still struggling with uh, the red light and the no uh, cruise control We'll see if we pass if we pass by uh, a Harley dealer 
see if you can uh, if they can take care of it. If not, we'll just have to continue and suck it up. Coast to coast on a soft tail. No cruise control. <laughs> Actually, it's coast to coast and back to the other coast on a soft tail. Boise, Idaho, that's uh, the point on the map we're gonna be heading to. We're gonna wing it. We're not gonna be reserving anything in advance. Eight o'clock, starting. Boise, Idaho. 